Hey guys, Cyber Hobo here. Now, I want to complain about something, and I, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I, I went on one of these online yard sales, and I saw a couple of Harley Davidson helmets, motorcycle helmets. So I said, well, shoot, you know, I, I didn't have time to go get them. I was out of town, so I called my son and said, hey, dude, go over and pick up these helmets, you know, take the money out of the bank, da da da. Okay. So he goes and he buys the helmets. Now, he didn't, he just grabbed them and picked them up, you know. I should have told him to check them, but I didn't. So anyway, he gets home, just sets them on the table, and that's it. I come home, and the first thing I do is, I, you know, go to put one on. I fill up inside, and it's all friggin' dry rotted. You know, it just starts caking out and shit. Well, you know, okay, it, it's my fault. I didn't check them. I didn't have him check them. So in a sense, it is. You know, but... I emailed the lady that I bought them from. Instantly, no response. She deleted me, um, so I couldn't contact her anymore. You know, so it's like, what the frig? So I went on the same, you know, uh, yard sale thing on Facebook, and I posted, you know, the story. I said, listen, I was the buyer. You know, I bought the helmets. You know, I, I did not check them. I wasn't there, uh, but they were bad, and you know, of course she wouldn't even respond to me so that tells me that she knew they were bad and just didn't want to respond for you know afraid I was wanting my money back so anyway amazing 100% of the people blame me 100% you know no one blamed her even though I thought I might be the victim you know which in a sense I may have been no one blamed her nobody no one said, oh, well, one said, well, you know, well, maybe she didn't know they were bad. Why did she, as soon as she sold them to me, she instant deleted me so I couldn't message her or anything anymore and know where to contact her. So I'm, I'm believing that she actually knew about it, but that's only my opinion. But she shares in none of the responsibility. I mean, zip, zero. You know, that's just amazing. You know, it's like, wait a minute. If I would ever sell someone anything and it's bad and they come back to me and say, hey, dude, you know, this is broke or this didn't work, you know, after I sold it to them, I wouldn't think a thing about it. I'd give their money back. You know, it's it's like, hey, you know, sorry, I didn't know that, you know. I mean, if I know, I'll tell them before they buy it, you know, hey, this is wrong or that's wrong and, you know. Um, you know, but uh, the amazing thing about it is they just blame me, you know, it's it's like i don't know if that's right it just seems like that you know a lot of people don't have any ethics they said that's okay if you buy something from somebody and you don't check it out it's your fault and i understand you know we live in a you know buyer beware you know community and, and state even um some things are not right and i think some of the sellers should take responsibility for uh, at least admit to it. I mean, I didn't expect any money back, but at least, uh, you know, hey, sorry, dude, I didn't know. Um, to me, that's just a loss of ethics and, you know, and everything else. You know, blame the victim. You know, yeah, the if the girl wouldn't have, bare, if the girl wouldn't have been wearing a short skirt and at the wrong place, she wouldn't have got raped. You know, so blame the victim, which we live in a society of liberals and um, millennials that that's what they do. It's just amazing to me, you know. Even hobos have ethics and um, a code they live by. And maybe, maybe we're the only ones that do. Maybe the rest of everyone is a fucktard or something. I don't know. Um, so anyway, that's all I was wanting to bitch about. Sorry for ranting. Not really, but. I